What's going on, guys? Hello, you here? Welcome to World Media. Today's topic is depression. Something that I think we need to talk about. It's something that I don't think is addressed a lot. Uh, and, you know, depression is a, a hard thing for people to go through. It's the thing that, that a lot of people struggle with when they go through it. And, you know, that's understandable. But let me explain to you what depression is. Depression is when you get down or... One second. When you get down or when something uh, breaks your heart so much that you're so depressed. You just don't want to do anything. You're just not enjoying life. Nothing makes you happy. You're depressed, right? Uh, but that's not how it works. Let's, let's, let's go into it. Let's break it down step by step and piece by piece. Now, depression, it's a mind thing, right? Uh, what you do as you, like, say, you, so let's, let's use an example here. Say you're getting a breakup, right? That breakup may break your heart, right? Now you're depressed. You get depressed. But the way you get depressed is by you working your mind into that mindset. You take your mindset from, oh, yay, to now you're heartbroken. And now I don't want to do anything. There's nothing better out there. There's nothing that I can do. It's just there's nothing. And that's wrong. That's 100% wrong. Depression comes from your mind, right? And the way you make your mind think that. And now the way you feel is the way your mind's going to feel. And, and that's where people need to start realizing that, that. That the way you make that feeling is the way your mind's going to make that feeling inside your head. And inside your mindset. And change your mindset into something it shouldn't be at. No. You need to, you need to stop that. You need to stop letting your mind uh, or you as a person control your mindset. You need to control your mindset yourself. Don't ever let depression get you down to where you don't want to be here, to where you don't want to do anything because that's th that's where you set yourself back so far and you get into mental illness and mental health problems. And, and we don't need that. What we need is, is for you to build as a person and continue to build. It's like building blocks. Build, build, build. You got to build. And now if you sit there and let your mindset change because the way you're thinking is the way your mindset's going to take it and the way your mindset's going to change. And if you let your mindset change too much, you're going to be down in a hole, and then you're in a hole trying to dig up and, and, and try to get out, but you're so far in it now, and now you're so depressed and so far out, and you just want to be done. Now, there's these things in depression that go through. Now, it goes through happiness. Now, you ain't happy. Uh-huh, you're unhappy, right? No happiness no more. Now, that's not true. And say somebody breaks up with you. Don't take that as a bad thing. Take it as a good thing. Take it as, okay, I messed up. Well, we had some mistakes here. Here. Take those mistakes and put them into, oh, better, what I can do better next time. Now, I'm not saying just go be with somebody else right after. No, you still got to build. But don't take that breakup as a bad thing and that breakup as a depression that you should be, oh, I'm just a piece of shit. I don't deserve to be here. Oh, I ain't do this right. I ain't do that right. Oh, I ain't do this. Nah, what the do's and the don'ts. We don't need to, oh, I could have done. No, what could have, should have. Nah, that's not there. What you could have done is, no, you do better the next time. That next relationship, you do way better than what you did that last time. And you take those uh, those issues that you had in that relationship that may have caused it to, to, to stop and deform. And you put them into your new relationship. And again, you take that. And, and you build on it. It's like building blocks. you got to build and continue to build. If you just continue to stay down and it, to continue to let it break you so bad, mentally, physically, and, and that you don't want to do nothing or you have this mindset of, of you're just not a good person, that's wrong. And, and, and that's what people mess up with. And that's where I think people don't understand that, that they're doing that. And that's 100%. People don't, or, or humans don't understand that. They're not going to comprehend that, right? But, again, you as a person got to understand and think about it. If you look at it, everything you do is a mindset game. You change your mindset with the way you feel. If you feel like you're nothing, then your mind's going to start feeling like you're nothing. If you feel like you've been beaten down, then your mind's going to feel like you've been beaten down. So you have to change that so then your mind won't change it with you. What I mean by your mind changing it with you, like if you broke up with somebody and you think you're a piece of shit, your mind's going to think that. If you think you're worthless, your mind's going to think that. you got to stop thinking those negative thoughts and put them into positives. And building blocks. It's like building a business. To build a business, you got to fail to succeed. And to succeed, you have to fail. Again, it's like winning in life. You have to lose. And to be depressed is a, 
a thing that I hate because I hate people just sitting there thinking they can't do nothing. You can do better. Hell, we can all do better in anything, but you can do better no matter what, and no matter what it is, or no matter what it can be, or no matter what it takes, or no matter what it does. Your mindset is what people don't understand. Your mindset comes from you. You control the mindset. So, with depression, there's deep depression. When you get in deep depression, you're deeply depressed. And at this point, you're fully gone. You're just stunned. You don't feel like there's anything, right? But that's not true. I tell you that, that's 100% wrong. You, as a person, have to understand, before getting into that, you need to find yourself uh, right after that relationship and not just take all the negatives and the what of, what could of, what should of, and why I didn't, right? But no, you, you need to take that as a, okay, okay, cool. Now I need to learn off that. What were the mistakes? What did I do wrong, right? And build and build and build instead of just breaking yourself down, bringing yourself to the ground and burning down what you built to the ground and bringing up what you built in blocks. Like I said, it's all building, building, building. You have to build. Building blocks are key. You have to use those. Because if you're not building, then you're, 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 you're just at a stable point where you don't need to be. You need to continue to build no matter what it is, no matter how it is. No matter where it is, you have to continue to build. Building is key and building is important. And you have to continue doing that. You have to. Staying stationary is not a smart thing. But also, when you're depressed, keeping your mind off of things. Now, I wanted to get into this, and, and this is definitely what you need to do. Keeping your mind on things, right? Just sitting there and thinking about what you're depressed about and keeping your mind thinking about that is not going to help you. you got to keep your mind busy. And what I do, and I'm going to share with y'all, is take some time out of your day and make sure you're doing what you want to do in your day. Like, set goals that you want to succeed and just have, like, 30 minutes to an hour to yourself. And just think about, okay, I could have done better on this. I could have done better on that. Boom. Okay, overall, it's been a very good day. But you got to have some time for yourself to clear your mind and to make your mind really process what's going on, right? Now, uh, it's a hard topic because a lot of people don't get that. Your mind needs some time to itself. And you need some time to yourself to thinking and to get your processes of your thoughts of what's going on and what's happening in your head. But to sit there and drill on the thing that you're depressed about is not smart. Your mind will take that and be like, hmm, and make you so much more depressed. And that's where you get into deep depression. When you let your mind just sit there and think and think and think and think. And that's not smart. As a person, that's not smart. As a person, that's not smart. That's where people mess up the most. Keep your mind occupied. And that's listen to music. Not depressing music. Not depressing music. But music. Uh, if that's hell to go on a walk. Hell to just, just, just talk to somebody. Whatever the case may be, keep your mind busy. Keep your mind thinking. Not to keep your mind thinking about what's going on or what you're down about or what you're sad about or what you're hurting about. But what you need to continue to build on. But what you need to fix next time. You control that and you have that power in your mind as a person. So as a mental challenge, you got to keep your mind working. I want everybody to do that. For me, as a mental work, everybody try it at least one time. One time. And I'll tell you, you'll feel a lot better because now you're not just sitting there hating this, hating that. No. You, you as that person are, are fixing your mindset and keeping your mind working without working about the bad thoughts, but working on the good thoughts. Working on the thoughts that you need as a person and not just the thoughts that that you're feeling. Because your feelings and the thoughts that you may be thinking after that breakup may be way worse than you want. And you don't want to speak that out, but you don't want your mind to be sitting there thinking about it. So keep your mind busy. Stop 
stop letting your mind take over, right? No, your mind doesn't take over. You take over. So how you're feeling is how it's going to come in your mind, all right? Everybody needs to know that. Everybody needs to, to realize that it is that. And it's harder to realize that because at the time, you just, you're not worried about that. You don't care about that. You're more worried about what happened, and I get that. But you gotta understand there's another point to it. And depression is a thing that you make your mind so depressed. You make your mindset change. So you gotta work on that. You gotta work on not letting your mind sit there and just be stale and just just sit there and and, and attract uh, all the negativity thoughts because you're feeling those negative thoughts. But to, to keep your mind moving, to keep it going and keep it grooving. Because again, it's all a mental game and, and people don't get that. It really is. and And again it's a you thing that change your mindset it's you that keeps the mindset from changing from this to that to that to the negative to the bad to the great but you got to keep that mindset good you got to keep it positive whatever it may be if it's chasing your dream if it's wanting to change just keep it thinking about something good and not the negative for real keep it thinking about something good and not the negative the negative is what Hurts a lot of people. And, and, and those thoughts will change your mindset. Make you hate yourself. And, and that's where people need to really realize that. Don't let your mind sit. Don't let your mind. Have the time to think about it. Keep your mind occupied. Keep your mind thinking and keep your mind going. Because that's how you're going to keep going. And that's how you're going to change it. And that's how you're going to fix it. And that's how you're going to move on from it. Again. A lot of people don't think of it that way, but that's how it is. That's how the truth and the reality is. And that's why I'm trying to get this, shed the light on it. So y'all realize that. You change your mindset. You control the mindset. If you sit there and let those thoughts build up, you're going to continue to build depressed, depressed, and depressed. And you're not going to get out of that hole. So for me, practice that. And yeah, I'm really stay positive. Yeah, yeah. Thank y'all.